What's up guys? It's the YouTube troll. And I'm here to talk about the new Naruto game. Um let me tell you guys right now. I'm not gonna I'm not even planning on buying it until I see more information about it, until I see gameplay, until I see what cards are gonna be in it. Like until I know everything. Alright? That's pretty much I'm gonna buy it maybe the day before it comes out. Alright, you know, because I still need to upload videos on my YouTube channel and stuff. Now let me just um, tell you guys when when a new skin comes out, I'm gonna try to discuss it. I'm gonna try to like you know pretty much have an educated discussion with you guys, the subscribers. Uh, I wish I could talk to Team Infamous about it, but I don't know. Maybe they'll be down for it. Who who knows? And I can just upload it to my channel. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the, the pattern that Cyber Cyber Connect Two is doing, and I just noticed that not too long ago, and just today it hit me to talk about it. Um, the reason why I'm pissed off about Cyberconnect 2 is because they're doing this pattern with the character slots, all right, with the with the whole roster. And if you notice, um, everybody's saying, "Oh, they're gonna have a hundred plus characters on 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 the new Naruto game." Okay, they're gonna have a hundred plus characters, but check this: how much you wanna bet on the new Naruto game? They're gonna add Omoi, uh, Karui. Let's see, um, Samui, they're going to add the Erokages or whatever, uh, Ginkaku, Kinkaku, um, they're going to add Gari, Pakura, they're going to add all the fucking characters that they should have added on Storm 3, they're going to fucking go ahead, put them on Naruto Revolution, and then talk, and, and, and then this is what they're going to say, oh, new roster, new characters, and then they're going to have character trailers, making it like passing it off as oh you know what we came up with new characters it's no dude those characters should have been there on storm 3 and I'm, i bet you they're gonna add a revolution and advertise those characters as if they needed to wait until revolution to add them there now some of you guys might be like youtube troll you defended this company you shouldn't talk listen i defended them only because i truly felt that they needed some slack but the thing is though after this game, after this game has been confirmed, I'm, I noticed, I noticed they're doing some shady stuff. I mean, it, it shouldn't be that hard for you to get motivated to do a hundred percent on that game because, like, if you have, like, if you work for Sonic on it too, you know that's just a small company. You know that that company needs to have like a fan base. It needs to be able to, you know, deliver to their customers if they want to continue, uh, you know, doing what they're doing. And I, what I think is funny is that they're relying on just straight up blind sales. And what I mean by blind sales is that people that buy the game just to buy it. They just buy it because they're fans of the series and they don't care about the mechanics or whatever. They're just going to buy it regardless because it's kind of like Call of Duty. It's like, to, to put it as a, a perspective, and a lot of people hate the fact that you're comparing them to Call of Duty, but that's how it is. People buy Call of Duty because it's popular. It's something that they're going to buy regardless, okay? And it's the same thing with Naruto. People are going to buy it because they're simply fans of the show. They're not going to really worry about, oh, what's in the mechanics, what's in the game, what the, what's this and this. They're just going to buy it. And Savikone 2 needs to do 100% when they're working on, on the Naruto games. Or, or any game that they work on, because I know they work on other games. But... I truly do feel they're not doing their best, and this is why I'm kind of changing my mind about what they're doing, you know. I, I support them and all, I think they they make great Naruto games, but they need to polish the game a lot more than how they're doing it now, is what I mean. Alright, if you guys agree with me, leave it in the comments. Sorry for rambling on, and you know what, like the video if you like it, or dislike it if you dislike it, I don't care. Um, that's all I really have to say though, peace out.